Hi everyone, it is me, Plantine Shalene, and I am making a video today about four plants that I really don't talk about that much and I wanted to share with you guys. So before I begin, I want to say if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am a proud plant mother and I make my videos based on plants that I already own. Maybe I shopped and it arrived. I may do some repotting, recently plant pest, just different videos. Anything to do with plants that inspire me. If this me. is not your first time to my channel, thank you for returning. I appreciate you too. I appreciate anyone and everyone that wants to watch my videos because it tells me there's something about me that you want to see again. Thank you. So the first plant I will start with will be my Monstera. This plant, I don't know how to pronounce the second name and I'm not good with that. So I'm hoping that you guys can see that. That first letter is an S, it's rubbing off a little. And I'll put it at the bottom here. But this plant, what I love about this plant is the color on the leaves. As you see, that silvery look on top of the leaves. Um, the plant sits in here in my living room and it is about three feet away from a grow light because I have above lights that I have shining down on these plants. And um, I recently repotted it because the roots were coming out the bottom of its original grow pot. But this plant seems to be able to take medium light. The light that I'm giving it seems to be just fine for it because, okay, Here's a new growth and you can see that's pretty light in color versus a, a leaf here that's maturing more and as you see the, the silver is starting to come on top of the leaf. These leaves are from the original plant. Pretty much almost all of this here at the top that's long stemmed is new growth. Um, so the leaves start off at a pretty decent size. It's getting, they're getting a little bigger, but these leaves obviously are not as big as these uh, bottom leaves that are more mature. But I am happy to say that it is growing nicely. As most monsteras, if not all monsteras, it's easy to propagate. It has the little node there. Sorry. As you see there, see those roots sticking out in their node. You cut below the node stick it in water, it'll root, you propagate, you get a new plant. So this is a very easy plant. I suggest this plant to anyone. If you need a plant that takes low to medium light, grows fairly fast, it's a medium growth I would say, and doesn't take a lot of water, you definitely wanna let this one dry out um, and then let the water, sorry, <clears throat> let it dry out, not completely but dry out enough where the top inch to two inches are dry. And then you wanna water it again. This pot does not have a, um, a hole, but um, I put charcoal at the bottom of this, about an inch, half an inch of charcoal. And sorry, I put about a half an inch of charcoal at the bottom to absorb the water so that this, the roots are not just sitting in that water and this is a monstera so you know if you know how to take care of a monstera you know you don't keep the soil moist all the time you do let it dry out and then once you let it dry out for at least that top inch or two of the soil you water it so this monstera was a great buy for me my next plant i'm going to talk about is my sinanthi am i saying that right Amagris, I think is the proper name. I got this one from um, Plant Arena. This one is growing a lot. It's nice and full. I love how it's growing wide. This one sits here in the living room as well. It faces my, um, it's, it's in the window and I get morning light from this, from this window here in my living room. So it gets morning sun, not too harsh. The leaves are looking very good. I repotted it. It came in this with a grow pot and the roots were coming out the bottom as well. 
I put the chocolate at the bottom of this one and then I planted it but I think I actually may need to repot it again no later than next month because it dries out so fast and as we know with uh, Sananthes they kind of like water more than not not sopping wet water but they don't like to dry out too much because then you'll see the leaves kind of curl up like this this plant will talk to you it'll curl up like this and that's when you know that it needs to get watered um, it grows fairly fast and this one is just I love this plant because it's look at this do y'all see how big and cute that is even though it's a small plant it's only in a maybe two three inch pot but it's just so full and it has grown a lot since I got it so as I always say me and Plantarina's plants like this son next I forgot to mention that this plant takes or likes high humidity like most Sananthes or um, prayer plants because like the other prayer plants the leaves on this will stand up straight like it's praying hands together and then it will fold out to this form as well so that's it next up is my Piper Parmatum plant I recently repotted this um, when I pulled it out I thought I saw some type of insect bug monster plant pest on the leaf here and then I sprayed it down but keeping it away from my other plants for now so here is the pipe of parmatum now this plant as you see leaves are a little uh, crunchy on the edges or in, on the ends and uh, that's because I have forgotten to water this plant a couple of times this plant does like to stay more moist than not and with the soil and though this also is in a plant that does not have a pot I mean that does not have a drainage hole I do have the charcoal sitting at the bottom of it but I have to do better where I have it I have it in one of my little whatever you call it thingies and um, I keep forgetting that it's there because it's small and whatnot but now it's gonna go in quarantine so I won't forget that it's there because I have to make sure that what I saw um, is gone or what I thought I saw is gone but uh, this plant I'm gonna say is a medium grower for me um, excuse one sec um, yeah sorry about that so this plant is a medium grower it stays in medium light I have a grow light overhead on this plant, but I don't keep it too close. It's not really a grow light. I don't want to call it a grow light. It's light. It's LED, and um, it has a, yeah. It's not a grow light. It's an L, it's LED lighting, but it's not a grow light. But it does give good light for my plants. All the lights that are on the lights, all the plants that are under these lights, do fairly well. Um, but again, I think I see plant pests because this did have more leaves and I'm noticing that um, because of my failure in remembering to water it the way I'm supposed to and then possibly a plant pest, this uh, plant has lost some leaves and it's not looking as full as it did when I originally um, repotted but, you know, it. I so, like the dark green of the leaves. The leaves are really nice so I'm gonna make sure I do right by this plant and watch it grow nice and full hopefully by this time next year it'll be a much bigger plant be in a much bigger pot and do its thing let's see you never know okay <coughs> excuse me last but not least is my Apicia Costa Rica pink and I know I probably messed that up so I'm just gonna show you guys the name and here is the plant okay this plant is growing for me I, I just love how it's growing I love that 
there's a center and one side went this way and the other side went that way as you can see it's like a hanging plant I don't know if that's the way it naturally grow, grows when I purchased this plant it was my first time seeing it I purchased it last year from a place uh, here in New York in Brooklyn called Crest Gardens and um, the leaves are what originally attracted me to this plant these leaves are beautiful I have like it said the pink flower one this plant I can't remember the colors of the other flowers but um as you see here I had three flowers already I'm hoping that I get a bunch more at one time and I would love to show you guys how it looks when there's more flowers just all over this plant just look like <laughs> this plant is amazing um, it grows quickly you see here it's starting to shoot out a leaf in the center so this part is gonna fill in maybe that will drape this way who knows but um it grows quickly it takes um, I'm gonna say highlight for this one medium to highlight I have to water this one now that I have it out here in the living room that it when it bleh, morning Sun it gets morning Sun so since I started once I moved it here and it gets the morning Sun it takes way more water for uh, now and I'm watering it at least two times a week where before I was watering it once every week and a half so that's a big change um, I haven't had any plant pests on this and I'm knock on wood hope I don't get any I don't want to jinx it but um I'm not aware if there are any of those you know plant that will bother this plant but uh so far so good and I pray that it stays that way so that is it guys that is my most latest and greatest plant I am going to leave it in here I'm not even sure if this plant likes to be root bound but um I'm gonna leave it in here until it starts to walk something I don't know it's going to stay in this pot because I think when it's root bound it may give me more flowers so we're gonna leave that there so there it is guys that's my four plants that I wanted to share with you and if you have any suggestions or any um, comments one thing you want to tell me about the four plants that I showed you today please share below comment subscribe like click the bell I'll let you know when I got a new video coming out and thank you as always for watching my video you don't have to so when you do I appreciate it a lot take care everybody please be safe and have a blessed one bye and keep planting bye